more often than not you might find yourself in a situation where you want to listen to youtube videos in background while doing something else with your smartphone like listening to a ted videos before going to bed a video lecture from talks at google or just your favorite song you want to listen on repeat now if you close the youtube app then it will stop the video as well and while youtube does as a solution for you aka it's 10 dollar monthly subscription fees youtube red but it's not available outside united states however there are a couple of android applications and workaround that will easily let you address it to youtube videos in background so let's find out all the possible option and which one works for you best like always all the download links will be in the description of this video and with that being said let's get started Apparently you can get YouTube running in the background with Google Chrome. Simply open the YouTube app, copy the URL of the video onto Chrome and play it. Now if you close the Chrome app, the video will stop working. Hmm, why is that? Well the only way to work around this is by making sure you turn on the desktop mode. Now if you play the video after minimizing it, it will still work. However, there are two major issues with this approach. First, you never know how long this is going to work because you know it's Google. And second, since you are running video in unoptimized environment, it will drain your battery and heat up your phone. <coughs> Samsung. Long story short, if you do want to go down this road, then I recommend you use Firefox. Earlier, it used to work right off the box with Firefox, but now you need to install a free plugin called background playback for YouTube and then it's going to work as smooth as butter. The upside of Firefox over Chrome is that you don't have to tap on turn on desktop mode every time you want to play the YouTube video in background. However, it will still heat up your device if you are running it on low end Android smartphone. So if you want to play a few YouTube videos in background like couple of times a week then go with this one. But if you listen to YouTube videos in background like several times a week then it's better to go with a dedicated app. Newpipe is an open source YouTube player and also my favorite app for a couple of reasons. You can either play a video as a pop-up and then multitask on your Android device or you can minimize the Newpipe app and it will still continue to play video in background. But honestly though, what makes me gritty about this app is when you play a YouTube video, you can also change the playback speed as you watch it, which makes it perfect to listen to TED videos in the background. By the way, you rumor has it, this feature is soon going to be integrated in the YouTube official app as well. Also when you get an earworm like comfortably numb for me at this moment then with this application you can play a song on loop. But then again new pipe isn't perfect. My only two nit pick with this application is 1. There's no playlist support. So neither can you search or play your playlist on new pipe. In fact there's not even an auto play button let alone playlist. So it wouldn't even play a related videos after a watch. For example every time you want to change a song you will have to manually input it for it to play. So say if I want to listen to couple of songs on YouTube while doing my chores, this wouldn't be my first pick. And on top of that, there is no YouTube feeds nor can you log in. The homepage is a complete empty screen with a search box. So you might not want to use this as a placeholder for YouTube. Overall, Newpipe is a good companion for YouTube with couple of nifty features, but definitely not a standalone YouTube app. Why music is the modded version of YouTube by XDA that lets you play YouTube videos in background and also download videos in many different format including mp3. But what makes this application tick the bunch is while playing a YouTube video in the background it only loads the audio of the video and not the entire video altogether thereby saving you a lot of data on your bandwidth. So say if you're traveling and don't have enough data you can still play the video in the background with my music and be efficient with your data. However. Just like Newpipe, Y Music doesn't have any home feed or even a login option. So you cannot see your subscribe channel videos and you have to search for your videos manually. Although one workaround that I have found is you can always like the videos which will be stored in a specific folder and then you can play them all together whenever you feel like. It also supports playlists so if you are listening to an audiobook on YouTube with multiple chapters in it then Y Music should do the trick for you. Another good thing about Vi Music is if you're listening to your favorite artist then it will automatically jump to a related song when the first one ends which is usually from the same artist so you won't have to pick up your phone any time and finally the best part is since it only streams the audio of the video then compared to all the other application Vi Music is the easiest on your phone battery and mobile data
Now I don't know how to pronounce it, but I'm going to call it iYouTube Background Playback. It is the latest modded version of YouTube app, again made by XDA member, and it works quite well. I have done a separate video on this application, so I will be brief here. In a nutshell, this application looks exactly like the YouTube app with dark theme on, and you can even sign in and access your subscription. You can even upload videos and when you do want to play YouTube videos in background, just play a video and minimize the app or turn off the screen and it will run in the background. Pretty cool right? It is almost similar to the YouTube official app with the YouTube red feature as well. You can even disable the existing YouTube app and log into this one. This way you will only have to use one application which also supports background playback. Fun fact, Android Pulse recently did a teardown of new YouTube app and it seems like the YouTube is bringing a new feature called YouTube Plus and rumor has it this YouTube Plus complements YouTube Red really well and might be available outside United States as cheaper prices. And as most of you know, these days rumors are mostly true. Coming back, the only issue that I have with iUTube background playback is it doesn't really work on some devices, so try it out and see if it works for you. It worked fine for me, but no guarantees though. Overall, if you can get this work, then this is one of the best app to play YouTube in the background. So yeah, these were some of the Android applications that will let you listen YouTube videos in background. Like everything else, all these methods have their own pros and cons. Like for general use, Chrome browser is sufficient. If you want to save your data, then why music makes sense. If you want all the additional features like background playback and changing the playback speed, also looping your videos, then new pipe is the best option. However, if you want an all-in-one YouTube application, then iYouTube Background Playback is the best application. It will let you see your YouTube videos as well as the feeds and let you play the YouTube videos in background all at the same time. Let me know which is your favorite method in the comment section below. And if you find this video helpful, then give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I have a lot more videos coming soon. So this is all for now. It's Manal signing off and I will see you in the next one. And yes, like always, thank you for watching.